We bought everything, the house, its contents, the car, and the overgrown yard. Before renovations can begin, it's up to us to sort it all out. We're heading to our closing, finally, after four months. Four months, <laughs> or more. Yeah, well, we're like seven months looking for a house, four months trying to get Casa Marie. Yeah. The landlords at the house where we've lived for years are putting the house up for sale and our deadline has come to move out. Even though we found Casa Marie, we haven't closed on the house yet. And even after we close, it will be many months before the house is safe to live in. So we're packing up ourselves, our pets, all of our stuff, and hoping for the best as we move to a new temporary rental. No one's more, more excited than Biscuit. Yeah, this is his dream. We have boxes everywhere. It's making Django anxious. It's making Biscuit excited. He's living his best life. <laughs> Biscuit! Hey, buddy. It's moving day. Headed over to our rental and storage unit. Before. And after. It's been raining all day on moving day, so it's almost six o'clock and we're just getting to the storage unit. Yikes. 10 by 10 smaller than I thought. Whoa, that's tiny. You guys ready to go for a ride? Go see your new home? Momentary home? Vacation see you there. Home? Pretty sunset. <laughs> Bye, cold de sac. Welcome home. Django, do you like the new house? She was going this way. Do you like it? Door. <laughs> She's so sweet. Check out your new house. Come on. Anna, come on. Anna, you want to try these stairs? She doesn't know stairs very well yet. You got oh, this. Yeah, I don't think she's ever been upstairs. Yeah, I don't know. Anna, come on. Anna, come on. Anna. Oh. Come on. Anna, come with me. Right. Anna. I'll let her in and out of the garage every time. No, she'll learn. Come on, Anna. You got this. Come on. Good girl, here she comes. Come on. Good girl. Good girl, Anna. Change of address. Now we're going to the old house to finish cleaning out. Uh, saw some people at the local coffee shop who knew about the casa. So word is spreading despite our efforts. Well, Kristen's efforts. I tend to run my mouth. They didn't know much. Right. But they're there excited really about it. So uh, <clears throat> it's going to be fun when we finally get it done. Anticipation's building. It took us a little longer to move because of bad weather, but we finally got some sunny skies, and in about four days, we had everything moved into our new rental. It's 10.30. We unloaded. Super tired. <laughs> um, my feet feel like there's knives in them, but um, we're done for the night. So yay, about to go in, take a shower, and relax with the dogs and the cats. More tomorrow. Hopefully Hal gets the trailer into the driveway this time. It's two o'clock in the morning. We finally just finished moving, and my car's dead like halfway in the middle of the road, so. <laughs> and mine's still hooked to the trailer. Yeah, we're gonna try and jump in. <laughs> Got it, car is running. Hal is parking the trailer and we're about to go in and sleep for like five hours before we both have to go to work tomorrow. New morning views today. Got everything moved yesterday, got the old
old rental cleaned. The new rental is a mess. <laughs> it's like a maze in there right now. We have a lot of organizing to do, but we got it done and I'm headed to work. I only had a few hours of sleep, but I have a busy week at work, so I'm headed there and Hal's going to meet the contractor at one o'clock today to get another opinion on the Casa Marie renovations. So I'll be looking forward to hearing from him all day and hopefully we get some good news. We had a really stressful week with moving and yesterday I noticed that Biscuit wasn't looking so good. If you've been following along, then you know that he's a cancer survivor. He's been undergoing chemotherapy and I took him to the vet yesterday and unfortunately we got some really bad news and right now we're just trying to keep him comfortable, keep him distracted from any pain and we're going to have to be saying goodbye to him this week and this is not what I was expecting for this week. Um, he's been a really, really good friend for 11 years. So we're really going to miss him. We've settled into our new rental now. It's been a couple months since we moved. We still haven't closed on Casa Marie. At this time, we're waiting for our general contractor to get the information needed to our lender because we're getting a renovation loan for this project and with that comes a lot of additional requirements. So as our closing has been delayed, we keep walking by the house every day, watching it get more and more overgrown. Oh, it's in there, Anna. You wanna go in there as bad as we do? <laughs> Five days, Anna. <laughs> See any trees you want to keep? <laughs> Five days. Four days. Four days. Hopefully. Maybe. Brought the dogs in for the first time. This vine is now growing out of the car. Just had a big thunderstorm so pretty wet and soggy around here the vines are taking over the house hoping that this process moves along quickly before the house falls into even further disrepair blank days still closing yeah blank days still closing we were supposed to close tomorrow but that's not happening this is our last night creeping around. <laughs> we started a year ago looking, and then seven months ago, realizing our lease was running out, we had to get out. Then we started looking seriously, going to open houses, and you've seen our journey, our disappointment, and our bad smells, and weird floor plans, and small bed bathrooms with no windows, and. Bedrooms that don't fit beds. Yeah. And cost a million dollars. <laughs> and million dollar homes. And the, the prices kept going up. So now here we are. We're on our way to the title company to sign on the house. And a little nervous. Like excited nervous. Yeah. I'm super excited and I'm super nervous. This is the first time I've ever bought a house. And this is our first house together. Yes. <laughs> so, it's going to be fun. I'm excited. I'm really excited. And a little bit of leave. Relieved. Yeah. But uh, then the real work is going to start because we're buying the smelliest house in town. <laughs> <laughs> After a dozen smelly houses, <laughs> we decided to buy a house that we can't breathe in without a <laughs> respirator. <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't end in tragedy. Time will tell. <laughs> Let's go sign. Yeah. We finally did it. <laughs> Signed a ton of paperwork. We own Casa Marie. It's ours. Cal, in a month, this will all be yours. 
How do you feel? Excited. <laughs> this place is huge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sit it so.